Greetings to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing good, better. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to come on to just encourage us to um, to be either hot or cold. Do not be lukewarm because God will spew you slash spit you slash vomit you out of his mouth. Be hot or cold, beloved, because it, it's your choice to submit your life to Christ or to not submit your life to Christ. Both have benefits and or rewards. So if you are a believer in Christ Jesus, uh, submit yourself wholly to him. Holy, W-H-O-L-L-Y. Commit yourself wholly to him, unto him. And become born again. What did I say? Submit yourself wholly unto him and become born again. It's when we become born again slash regenerated is when we have, we get the understanding, our lives change. We, we, the old habits die, old uh, ways of living die and we become new <clears throat> Excuse me. We become new creatures, new creations. And that's really important to have a mind of Christ that, that our minds have changed. That's what repentance is all about. Your mind changes. Okay. Okay. I was a fornicator. I was an adulterer. I, uh, you know, I was uh, into pornography. I was into masturbation or lying, stealing or whatever it is, the different sins that we have committed in the past. But that is what we did in the past. We don't continue to do that. You know, people say, oh, well, that, you know, we got God's grace. God. No, God's grace can cover it. But why would we continue to live a foolish, sinful life when we have been delivered and, and, and by, in quotes, uh, supposedly brought into this marvelous light of Christ Jesus? Why would we continue in darkness? Why would we want to continue in darkness? Crossed over, beloved, cross over that line and come into the newness of Christ Jesus. There are so many people that are into religion and, and or they'll say that they're, um, you know, Christians or, born, you know, or Christians or whatever, but their life has no evidence of it. Okay, their life has no evidence of them have spent any time with Christ uh, submitting themselves to him belonging to him or anything people are still doing the same thing and they don't have a great understanding because of the various teachings that are out in the world today and not just today but yesterday too <laughs> but there are so many uh, conflicting uh, uh, um, teachings and and uh, myths and traditions and you know just uh uh you know just so many false you know just false teachings and and the like and so many what sex so you know sex you know cults and you know off offshoots of different religions sex as s uh s e c t s so <clears throat> so there's so many of these uh, religious sex and 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 offshoots and uh cults and teachings and you know false teachings and things of that nature that people are into and they they hear it and they believe it and or um you know just believe it at false at, at face value instead of studying to show yourself approved and you know going into the bible and and praying about situations you know because really there's no need to you know we now don't get me wrong i'm not a heretic we have god jesus has left these particular gifts he's left pastor he's left evangelist he's left a missionary apostle he has left a teacher you know what i'm saying he's left prophet he has left these particular gifts but see people have taken the gifts and misused them and 
and uh, misabuse and abuse them and people we don't have an understanding like I was listening to someone the other day there was something about something about uh, pastors cheating like cheating in their marriages or something and it's like okay people think that okay I'm a pastor so I'm not going to cheat you know or I'm a pastor I don't lie or I'm a pastor I don't steal people have put these faiths and trust into human beings as if they're something divine that people we're we're human beings okay we're not divine okay and these particular um gifts that that Jesus has left for us people who have misused them and they're uh setting themselves up as divine as okay I'm you know or whatever and people have a misunderstanding of what the person actually is supposed to do instead of you you don't see it in the bible um the these gifts uh or the the function the functionality of it it, what I mean to say is the functionality of that particular gift does not match what we see in real life, right? Every what we see in the, in the Bible of that functionality, we don't. It it, it doesn't. Uh, con, it does. It conflicts, and it's contrary to what we see in real life. There's no built up churches in the Bible. What you know of, what you hear of, when you see church, we're talking about human beings gathering just human beings not buildings not 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 brick and mortar buildings that are uh being um uh you know people are we're using our sustenance to support the building and or the person you don't know that's not what it does now there are times you you do see that you know Paul or someone needing some uh, help or whatever or you send you know it's just all wrong I, I can't even go too deep in it it's so it's just so wrong and so contrary and we don't we, we're not studying beloved we we just do what is grandma did what mama did what auntie did what papa did or what we think you know what was supposed to be done like especially if you don't even have a connection to uh, the religious organizations throughout your family, you you see you see people doing it, so you say, "Oh, that's the right way to do it." No, read your Bible, pray to God, let Him lead you through His Holy Spirit, and that is how we learn what it is that we are supposed to be doing. Because a pastor is not somebody that is stationary, and um, that's just his job like you know it, it's wrong the way they do it is and and people who call themselves prophets is wrong what they're doing uh uh <laughs> it's so wrong it's all witchcraft i'm going to even just say it because it's control okay it's manipulation okay it's greed i mean it's so wrong okay i i really would love to go deeper i just didn't mean to get on here and go too long but but what i want to encourage us is to study study and pray okay study and pray break away from religious uh activities and get alone with god and study and pray is you know and just wait if it takes a month okay if it takes a day if it takes three days if it takes seven days if it takes 21 days if it takes 30 days if it takes 90 days just wait on the lord you're not gonna miss anything you're not gonna god would rather that you prove him okay that you prove him okay versus you do something uh, and prove him and wait on him versus doing something that is contrary to what he wants you to do and or displeasing him okay so just wait you, you and then you know it's you know because people think is if they if they um if they don't go to the the brick and mortar uh if they don't attend religious organizations and and pay tithes and all of that they just go in the hell straight no they're not read you know, go look for it in the bible and find out where it says that at okay go and look for it in the bible go and pray about it and see where you can find that it's not there okay so go ahead and take your time and and and, and you know go and study 
and just wait on the Lord. Have patience. Don't be anxious because in haste you will waste. Okay? So just relax. Have faith and trust in God that he will show you what he wants from you. What he desires of you. You, you'll see it plainly and clearly, but you have to sever those ties because what happens is we become so loyal to that building and to the, the, the leaders in that building and to the activities of that building. We, we, we begin to deny God. We, 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 we uphold the loyalty to the building and to the leaders of the building and the activities to the detriment of our relationship with Christ. Yes. And what happens? We become alienated from him and we don't realize that we have no connection to Christ. Our connection is to that building and to the activities there and to that leader. That's where our, act, our loyalty and, 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 and whatnot is to. That's what we support. And if God needed money from you, he would ask you. And you would give it directly to him. You would not need a middleman. He he will send you his 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 account number or his put he'll reach his hand down and, and get it. But remember, God is the creator of all things. He said, if I was hungry, I would not tell you. Okay? I I am the one that made all the hills and, and the fashion the world and, and everything. Okay? So all the cattle on the thousand hills belong to me. I don't need you, anything from you. I made all of these things. <laughs> I'm the creator. You know, so anyway, I just want to encourage us to tap into God, beloved, because I, you know, people have so many wrong understandings of different things. I was just, you know, uh, someone uh, recently passed away um, and they you know, had a, the wrong understanding. They always talked about God or, you know, they say, God, this, God, that, which, you know, is a good thing, but they lived this, this, they had these particular sins and uh, not just sins, but um, what's the word? Uh, iniquities and, and um, what's the word for nastiness? Um, uh, I can't th uh, I can't think of the word right now, but there's a word for a very nasty, you know, a nastiness. Um, it was just off. I mean, you know, unfortunately, and they, but they always mention God and and God blessed me, and I'm, you know, and always saying like they're saved and living this holy life, but their life was very unholy. Yet they didn't have an understanding that they their life was in a great conflict. It did not line up with God. It was contrary and conflicting. You know, it was against him. You know, and, and, it's, and that's how a lot of people think. That's why it's important to know who you are and who whose you are. And you and you, you have to know who you are and know who he is okay it's really important then we start seeing oh well i'm not supposed to lie i can't be because liars will not tarry in the sight of god oh i'm not supposed to steal oh i'm not supposed to cheat i can't uh you know uh, cheat on my taxes and say i have this that and the other and or or say i don't have this that and the other and you know, or I'm not supposed to fornicate or, you know, shack up with this person and, all you know, all, all kinds of things. Then you start, you know, once you have a relationship, you start studying it and the spirit of God is in you. Then you will be cautioned by the different things that you um, would have done, which are not supposed to be done, you know. And it's it was very sad because I didn't know. I mean, I saw I knew that the person uh, was homosexual, okay? I did know that. But then after they passed away, other things, I, did, I didn't know that it was some other things. I was like, oh, my goodness, I didn't know. And it's so unfortunate because 
it's not just the person but they have children and grandchildren. And, and of course, when you're the matriarch and or the patriarch of the family, people look at you as if you know what you're doing and saying, and they do what, you know, it was just wrong. It, it's just the things I saw and heard was just so bad, unfortunately. And the whole family, I mean, that, 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 that leaven has leavened the whole lump of them. So the, all of the children are affected by this thing and this, these sins and, uh, and the grandchildren, you know. So now they got to be, they have prayerfully, they have to, uh, you know, get born again and, you know, repent and become born again and be regenerated because they all messed up. And they're going to continue that cycle unless they have a, a understand, get an understanding of 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 what who and who God really is, you know. I mean, oh my goodness, it's so sad what I witnessed. It's so sad, you know. It's so so sad, um, and it happens to all of us in, in different ways or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Just be careful out here. Uh, tune into the Lord, and uh, please, um, um, you know, just. <laughs> the, please be encouraged to do the things that I uh, just spoke about. So I love you very much and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, and happy holidays to those who are in, uh, buy, uh, get involved in holidays. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye bye for now.